folks, JD here, and I found an even nicer day than the last part where we looked at the S30W. This is part two, and in this part we're going to look at a couple of different features and try and see if we can get that gimbal to move as well. So let's. For, so for anybody that hasn't seen the first part, let's go over the quadcopter and just have a little quick overview. This is the SJRC S30. It has a 720p camera on a movable gimbal, four brushed motors, a really nice glossy uh, red finish to it. It has a battery pack directly in the back with a micro USB port for charging. You have a little on button next to that in which you push once and then push twice to turn on the quadcopter. You have four LED lights. You have battery LED notification on it as well. And the best part of it totally is it comes in at 50 pounds or 60 dollars and once again here she is so we have the s30w so i thought this in this particular part we're going to take her out of beginner mode we are going to move her around a bit and see exactly how she does move in beginner mode she's meant to do 25 kilometers an hour outside of uh, beginner mode now for this as well we're going to try and see if we can get the gimbal to move because that was a real proper sticking point no pun intended um for me when we when we took this up and i couldn't shift that gimbal at all so this time i'm going to take it up and we're going to take it up a little bit closer to ourselves and see whether or not we can get that gimbal to shift so with that folks let's take her up so in this video we're just going to set her up very quickly and we're just going to go through a couple of things. If you want to see a more detailed look of how to set this particular quadcopter up then I suggest you have a little look at part one of, of uh part one of this video uh, in which we go through a very detailed setup looking at the compass, compass calibration as well as looking at the uh, gyro uh, calibration as well so what we're going to do is there we are we've automatically connected to the wi-fi let's open up the app now that we saw the other day now from here it should be quite nice and simple just to go straight into controls come on flip back around there we go so now we have just to sort out the compass calibration so let's break, pick her up and do exactly the same as we did the other day so first horizontally and then with camera lens pointing down and then we've got to quickly place her on level ground so the gyro can calibrate as well right there we are perfect okay let me just record my screen because today i have forgotten an sd card that usually goes inside this drone okay so with that let's start her and let's take her up all right so here we are we're up we're active let's face her around to me so bring her around a little bit of yaw there and now hopefully as she's in in front of me that's a problem because we have got it's a very sunny day today very bright day rather and let me just position this camera where it isn't just going to get utter sun glare so let's move a little bit closer now then let's see if I can move this gimbal there is no movement whatsoever and I've checked for any sort of obstructions there isn't any it is just not moving at all okay right well what I'm going to do for the second is we're going to go into the hamburger menu and I've taken off beginner mode I'm going to increase the flight distance I'm going to increase the maximum flight altitude and I'm going to increase the return altitude not that anything crazy but just to about 65 uh, meters there just so that we can see when we do return to home she should because about when we when we returned her to home last time she was about this high uh, she didn't take her up any, herself up any higher so today what I want to do is when we hit return to home I want to see exactly how high she does go. So now we're out of beginner mode, we're in speed mode 2. Let's click the thumbstick and put her in speed mode 3. Oh my god, that is a lot quicker. <laughs> it's not fast, don't get me wrong, but that is a lot quicker than what we had the other day. The other day we were even in speed mode 3. It was powerful enough to get through the, um, the 4 mile an hour breeze I think we had, um, if memory serves. And today we don't have such breeze at all it's registering less than two miles an hour and that was in three separate locations that i measured it uh and and yeah it, it is it seems a lot faster the way that she's just gliding through this air she yeah 
I like it. I like it a lot. For its flying style, obviously, as we looked at a load of features, we also realised that a load of the other features in part one weren't working as well as they should have, like gimbal. Ooh, air brakes were good. That snapped back. Lovely. Okay, so, as we are here, let's move around. Let's see. There we are. Let's get a little bit more in the frame. Let's... A bit of negative pitch there just to move her back a little bit. Oh, she's very violent with that... Uh, She's very violent with that, uh, <laughs> with those air brakes. Oh, that's quite nice, you know, just a little bit of flight there. Out outside of beginner mode is a lot better. Beginner mode did seem to be a little bit, uh, a little bit slow, even in speed mode three, but it was powerful enough to get through the breeze, so I wasn't going to argue. That's really nice. Okay, let's have a little look and see what we've got. Have we got tap to fly? So if we open up this little map here in front of us, it looks as if it's having a bit of an issue in trying to figure out where I am. It's not rendering the map. So I'll give it a couple of seconds. Let's uh, leave the map up there though and let's see exactly what happens. Have we got, now that dot should move. Yeah, it is moving and the map orientation is altering. Okay, let's put it back into speed mode two. That little bit of, uh, of a gap is still there. When I click the speed button, if I can bring her closer, I don't know if you're gonna be able to pick, up, pick this up, but if I click the speed mode button uh, on, the, on the, the left throttle, it does take half a second for her to, uh, to increase her speed. We saw this the other day. I thought I'd put it to the test again. And it's exactly the same has happened. Okay, so even though we don't have a rendered map, we do have... We do have the little dot which is moving herself around. That's great. Okay, let's close this map then. We've got full signal as well, full, full satellites. We are just ripping around, but only in speed mode too. I don't want this battery to die <laughs> very quickly at all. Yeah, you know, as a little flying quadcopter, it's really not too bad at all. I think if you wanted a GPS quadcopter, I think, honestly, I would pay a couple of extra quid and get um, and get something else. I mean, this is very cheap. I mean, £50 is extremely cheap for what this does. But at the end of the day, I think it's a little bit stinted because I couldn't get that gimbal to move. But one thing I do want to try again, I do want to try the follow me function. So if we're standing in front, it can see me. Now let's check out the land. So the land here does dip up and down. It's always going to, but it's a little bit straighter than where I was walking the other day. So what I want to do is I just want to click follow me. So let's click the follow me button. Oh, return to home has been initiated. No, sorry, low battery has been initiated. I wonder if I've got enough just to do a little bit of follow me. So, click follow me. Follow me is initiated. This time I'm not going to take my eyes off this drone. And let's see whether or not... I don't know if this is disabled in low battery mode. It looks like it might be. Because it's really not... Yeah, it's really not focusing on me at all. It's really not trying to move. I'm walking further away from it and it's not trying to come closer. Okay, so let's turn off follow me then. And let's click return to home and let's see what she does. So that was a little bit erratic. I wasn't expecting her to just fly off at a side level. Now she's hovering above ish where I took off. Now you can see that's where I took off there. And sort of this is where she's landing. Not the most accurate. Come on, come on, a little bit further. There we are, perfect. Okay, well it wasn't very level, that's probably why it was just moving around the place. Okay, let's turn off, return to home. Right, so, here we go again. We have landed this little guy, and um, 
Yeah, so I still couldn't get the gimbal to move. Follow me wouldn't work when in low battery mode. And to be honest, I probably chewed up a lot of that battery in speed mode three and taking it out of beginner mode and really getting those motors up to its full 24 kilometer an hour. Um, all in all though, I st still couldn't get this little guy to move, which is a st shame because if you move it, it's not obstructed and it does just move. But unfortunately it doesn't move from the transmitter. I may try and see if there's a way I can rebind the transmitter, but straight out the box, like a lot of you guys are just going to use it, it didn't work for me at all. Um, now it's flight, as I say, the flight is immaculate. I honestly think the flight is amazing. Um, I And I honestly enjoyed flying this round in beginner mode and in advanced mode, just outside of beginner mode. Uh, now, all in all, I don't think it is that terrible. As a GPS quadcopter and just as a cheap GPS quadcopter, it's good. The video quality is very bad. The lens is very bad inside this camera. Uh, the fact that I couldn't move the gimbal, that's another massive bad point because it is one of the major selling points of this is the fact that it has a movable 120 degree angle gimbal so that we can move it around and we can actually see a lot of different, different perspectives like you would want to with any movable gimbal. Um, all in all though, I, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to lower this back lower this down from six out of ten to five out of ten, uh, just because its flight was brilliant. But these key features they 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 just really not really not that good. I found they're really not that good. Uh, so there we are, folks. Thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends, happy flying.